which is anti what you are. So that it's never it's never gonna it's never gonna work, is it? I just want to ask one question while I'm here, yeah? Yeah, do it. If if I if I was to EPC, do a dare battle now, Denny G, sorry for missing anyone, guys. And Tommy said, if I lose, I've got to paint my face. Haley, how's it going? Racist for doing that. No, and do you want to know why? Right. Do you want to know why? Because every single day on this app, you're not accused of being racist. Right. So, so as as somebody who was accused every single day for being racist, would you put something on your face? I could understand if if Angie went and done this off her own back. Dave Durand told her to do it. Okay. Dave Durand also gave her three other options. Four, three no, or didn't. four other options. Yes, no, he did. He what do you mean, no, he didn't? Who said no, he didn't? Right, no, because and I was in the The options that she was given was to get a spider. She's arachnophobic, okay? Uh, the other option was... What was the other option, Angie? To send the lawyer. Send the lawyer. Listen, I, Dave told me the options, and one of them was to put permanent marker on her face. This is a woman who shaved off her eyebrows. This is a woman who shaved off her eyebrows. I heard it directly from Dave. So what are we going to do now? Hey, what are we going to do now? Evan, Thank you so if you watch the video, I didn't have a permanent marker, uh, which I clearly said to Dave. What is yeah, a, Andrew, what? hold on. So, if so you can't get any other pen? I, I said to him, what about this pen? Well, no, he wanted a permanent marker. Is there something wrong with you, Devin? Right. But you're a woman that's willing to shave off her eyebrows, but you can't go and find a, a pen that seems permanent. have a permanent marker. Listen, See, that, this part now, the video's got like 10 seconds left on it. This is where it got really petty and stuff, and the argument... Again, they're arguing with someone who does things on purpose to get a reaction. So if you say something which is true to Angie, whether it's true or not, Angie's not always going to agree with it because she knows that if she says the opposite of what you're saying, you're going to go in a mood and you're going to put emotions into the situation. And the the audience, viewers, chat, whatever you want to call them, they're all going to be loving it, laughing, uh, angry, whatever and it's just a constant back and forth so you're deflecting away from the fucking point here Jevon you're hey, saying be. oh you're making a point about this permanent market. I don't think um, that's the end of the video we'll play what Angie did there's like a 20 minute video of what Angie did last night with the with the lipstick or whenever it was there's a 20 minute video we'll play that and then you guys can make your mind up on on the situation I don't think Angie's clever I'm not putting down Emzo. How's it going? I'm not putting down Angie's education or intellect or whatever. I just don't think she's very clever because we could all come onto the app and we could all say the opposite of what someone says with passion, couldn't we? That's not clever to do that. It's not a hard thing to do. You just play the opposite game. What makes me think she's not clever in the situation is because playing the opposite game in certain situations, i.e. homophobia, uh, anything to do with disabilities, racist, like racism, like there's, there's real world consequences to doing the opposite game to that. So that that's what makes me think she's not clever. If she's going to live the rest of her life in a bedroom and never come out, maybe clever. But if she ever expects to go outside into a shopping centre or wherever, there might be a day where someone she's offended walks past and then not so clever, is it? So I don't... The clever part... I think she's taken an easy route. She's taken an easy route. I could jump in people's boxes and just say the opposite in debates. Kick up a storm. That reminds me of Johnny Bravo. <laughs> a wild comment by Miss T. Absolutely wild. <laughs> yeah, but that live went in, like someone's just said there. Sorry if I missed anyone saying hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the live. Um, hope you're having a good day. I'm going to be on for a little bit and then I'll be on at 10.30 as well. If you have an opinion on anything, don't feel afraid to say it in the comments because this isn't a live where you're going to get uh, get backlash for having your opinion. Just be somewhat respectful with the opinion.
and everything's all right, isn't it? Uh, right. So this, this is what Angie was doing. Let's get this video up. Hopefully by the time this video is finished, we can watch the full, well, a good chunk of the debate. If not, it's fine. Club Tropic Armour, we are in Club Tropic Armour now, but we're in a section of Club Tropic Armour, which I don't really like to open the doors to because the whole racism debate, it's not one that can be fixed online on TikTok. And to discuss it, it's going to annoy people. Uh, it's so easy to say the wrong things. Some people look for the wrong things to be said so they can jump on it. I'm just merely reacting and having my opinion on what's happened the last 24 hours with Angie. So that's it. Right, let's get this video up. Well, it was, so, so, can you hear me? Definitely me. Don't come towards me, bro. Don't come at me. None of you. Don't come at me. Don't come at me, bro. None of you. Thank you so much, Jay. Corey, don't chat to me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Corey, cool you don't chat to me anyway because you're a little prawn racist. Yeah. So stay in the sun and sizzle. And Angie, what is it you want from me? Because I thought you was my bedroom, bro. Why are you dressed like that? Creepy girl. I've just lost two subscribers since playing these videos. Guys, if you're just unsubscribed, uh, sorry for offended you. I guess. You That's wild. Lives of Keep shouting, Don't Pearl. You come at me either. Keep shouting, Pearl. Good. Why, what are you going to do? Keep shouting, What are Danny. you going to do? What are you going to do? Nothing. Yes, she's against the whole situation is going on with you. And Torian and Paige in the whole app. Why are you then just smudged all that over your going? face? Why are you smudged all that over your face? Thanks, why you smudged all that over your face? And why is it me that's got to tell you because that? Because I wanted to. It's orange lipstick. If you've got a problem with it, piss off. I don't care. No one's going nowhere. This is my live stream. You added. Oh, orange lipstick. It's orange. Why don't you take it off? Right. Pearl's on holiday. Pearl's got the sunburn or suntan. Angie put lipstick on her face as a dare. But I think the doing it as a dare thing, pink lipstick, I don't think there's a problem with doing it as a dare. And then that's it. If you keep it on for 10 minutes and you're within the environment where Dave is who give the dare, then it is what it is, isn't it? If you then go out of that environment and start going live with people which you know is going to spark a reaction, then you're sort of creating the environment for yourself to get negativity, aren't you? You should really have taken the lipstick off just out of, just morally take it off. Like you don't have to accept defeat. You don't have to, there's, no, there's none of that. There's no, you're not lost anything. Just should have just take it off instead of having it on for so long and jumping from live to live and letting people come in who you know will have an issue with it because you're sort of taunting people who have a problem with it then aren't you and it's again what she wants it's spiking a reaction how you make to stop Danielle, coming out being shut up beans <laughs> thank you oh for god's sake James you know what I don't even take you seriously don't take me seriously then, but don't try and come at me. Nobody takes us seriously. you look like Mr. Yeah, you do love me. Yeah. Call me, Corby, you look like I Mr. Love Tumble. Yeah, you, know, you just let your whole horrible. personality down because I loved you like cooked food. Yeah, I'm okay. glad it's probably steaming again. You. And Angie, you. you are just a nutcase. Uh, leave me alone. I don't want to chat to you. Boy, I'm to leave yourself. Swanee, she wanted the outcome. What do you want, Corey? Bye. Bye. See ya. Bye. 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 Drop then. Um, yeah, no, no, you can drop. I ain't one second. Imagine being in her range and having to argue with people just to get views. What, they, Linda's got a point. 
what Dave said was incorrect. Dave should not have said that. That um, I'm not even going to repeat what it was, but that quote. Um, what a shot! That wakey wines quote. That that wasn't good. She needs to drop though, isn't it? Kind of like Evie, thank you. Do we all drop? Yeah. And then bye, bye. Yeah, come on. And I just yeah. back. Right. I've got it, my things overcharging again. Faces. So what what Angie knows now in this in real time when she's recording this or when she's live, whatever you want to say, she now knows that there's a backlash against what she's doing. And this this is prompting her to do it more. So this is prompting her now to accept people into the live who are offended by it or find people who are offended by it. And it benefits Scottish. How's it going? It benefits Angie because today, for example, Angie was in a live with like 6k people having a discussion for hours about it. And negative publicity is good publicity to someone who thrives off making money off negativity. So th this sort of stuff benefits Angie. It doesn't don't for one minute think this is like the downfall of Angie or anything because next week or tomorrow or whenever it'll be something else. But people are still shocked. This is why it, every other live I do and I see these clips on the FYP and some of them I don't even add to the live to be fair because I just think, nah, I'm not even putting that on. It's people who are easily offended or are offended by real life situations who are going into these environments where Angie are or Pearl is or whoever, whoever, these drama lives, the, the mingling in these environments or the dip in the toes in these environments. And then they're shocked. They're shocked at what they see, but they keep going to the environments. If you isolate the environment, if you block, or if you if you pick the option where it says not interested when you're going through your FYP, eventually, if enough people say not interested, the lives will not get pushed out to a broader audience. But every time you pick up on an issue and you start projecting something about the issue, you're promoting it, in essence. So you're promoting Angie's live, and you're promoting... This behaviour, everyone today in the box, I think, wanted the best, uh, I don't know, wanted to get the best out of the situation. But in reality, they've made it 10 times worse because, again, I said this about other stuff, all it takes now with someone who's not thinking straight or is not smart enough to understand, they can literally just put lipstick, pink lipstick on the face and go live and they know now that the next day they're going to be on all the FYP pages and potentially they're going to be in front of an audience of 5,000 people, which will take them from zero to something. They can leverage the position, they can turn a negative into a positive, and they've got viewership. And that that's why it's a very touchy subject. Obviously, racism is a touchy subject, but especially on TikTok because it it's not going to go the way people want it to go. There's not going to be a positive result off the back of it for people who are offended by it. And for that Devon to say to come with like some moral high ground or putting down people's intellects in that live, it's like well. For one, you shouldn't really be in the live. If you're that smart, what are you doing on TikTok? Having discussions with someone who holds drama lives. Just be honest. But just think about every situation you see on TikTok. If someone's in a drama live, they're not that smart. They might sound smart. They might come out with words which make you think, ooh, whoa, big words. But in reality, 
Smart people do not go into drama lives. Smart people do not mix with people from drama lives. It's as simple as that. Even to get a point across. It's like an orangey lipstick. Dave Duran. Anyway, I'm not going to explain it. Thomas Truncheon. Dave Duran. Have a good one. Anyway, I'm not going to explain it. Sugar Shot. I can't Thank believe you. that Manic. people are talking about my face now, try, saying I'm trying to... It's fucking orange that. lipstick. What? Exactly. I'm not <laughs> guys, I don't need to remove it. I'm not removing it. Don't remove it. I'm not going to. We shall we shall not be moved. Yes, we Sarah. shall we shall not be, be removed. <laughs> Where's Dave? Jem Zeno is a horrible old woman. Chelsea. Oh he's um he's got his invitations off. Tell him to request us, guys, Dave. Well it's really Am I old? Yeah, but you know, with James, yeah, it's an act with her. Do you know what I mean? It's that new target. I don't, know, I don't take anything she says seriously. She's a horrendous. Yeah, but you just take her with a pinch of salt, man. No, I'd rather take it to a funeral parlour. Wild. Let it go. Come on, did he? Come on, let's go in. Dave's been in on it. wants to come in. He's not, I've just seen him on live. Hessel wants to come in. EPC, oh, it's a Hello, Hello. Oh. Hello. What's going on, Corey? I'm okay, bro. You okay? Thank you, Sam. I'm all right, man. I just came to see my two favorite races again, bro. I love it. Oh, oh, hiya, hiya. little boy. Hiya. I, just I just say you didn't take Luke's advice. Whose advice? Luke's. Yeah. And you don't take no one's advice. You still you got this. Exactly. You do your own thing, me baby. Oh, hey, can I just say something? Look, in all seriousness, let me actually say something. Do you know what it is? Yeah, you see when, like, all these racist accusations are going around, right? Regardless of whatever the, the dare was, for you to then do that is crazy. Hustle didn't... Hustle, someone's just said Hustle didn't need to jump in that. Hustle did not need to jump in that live. Hustle is feeding that situation now. I think Hustle, although he portrays to have a strong mentality, I think he has a weak mentality and he's easily brought into situations. and. The likes of Angie and Pearl and even Corey at this point know that, but Hustle doesn't know that. So Hustle keeps biting, constantly biting, but he Hustle thinks he's right constantly. In this case, he's right. Hustle's right. But these three now understand how to get at Hustle and they'll keep doing it. The Corey... Pearl, I don't actually know about Pearl in this situation or this last 20 seconds. Corey and Angie definitely, definitely wanted Hustle to come in then. Look at the excitement on Corey trying to get Hustle to come in. Go back. Where is it? Watch the excitement on Corey's face. Bear in mind, Corey understands that what Angie's doing is offensive to a certain race. He understands that. And Corey understands that Hustle is a part of the race which is offended by Angie's, action, Angie's actions. Watch his face. Come on, did he? Got the Give her a euthanasia. Dave's bathing on it. Hustle wants to come in. He's not, I've just seen him on live. Hustle wants to come in. Oh, I forgot. Hello, Hustle! Look at the the thriving off it. The thriving off Look at the smiles on the face. The, they are thriving off this. Warwick, shall it go in? They've got Hustle exactly where they want him. Hello, what's going on, Corey? I'm okay, bro. You okay? Thank you, Sam. I'm all right, man. I just came to Daily see my stress, two favorite races again, bro. I love it. Oh, oh, hiya, it's Dave's little boy. Hiya. I just say you didn't take, you didn't take Luke's advice. Whose advice? Luke's. Yeah. And you don't take no one's advice. You've still you still got this. Exactly. You do your own thing, me baby. Oh, hey, can I just say something? Look, in all seriousness, let me actually say something. Do you know what it is? Yeah, you see when, like, all these racist accusations are going Orange around, right? regardless of whatever the, the dare was, for you to then do that is crazy. To like, do what? Like, because you don't help yourself when accusations are going around. Do you get what I'm trying to say? You know what, Hassel? I'm not going to... Sorry for pausing again. 
Joe, uh, Joe's put Hustle wanted in. No one invited him though. Hustle wanted in based on Angie's actions. You don't have to physically invite someone into something in order to get them to come. Like, it's the same with a bull. Look, a bull analogy. If you're stood on a fence watching a bull, the bull might not come towards you. If you stood on a fence and you got a big red drape or big red whatever it is, the bull's probably going to come towards you at speed. They're just holding up a big red drape constantly. So you don't physically have to invite someone, but they do something in order for that person to come and bite. Sugar Shack with a sub. Mucho Preciano for the subscription, Sugar Shack. Thank you so much. Welcome to Club Tropicama. This isn't normally what we debate about in here, by the way.